everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One, and I am live for a surprise retro Epcot stream. Welcome in, everybody. I wasn't planning on doing this until just a, a few minutes ago, so that's why it's kind of uh, just very spontaneous and very out of the blue. But so if you're catching the replay and like, I didn't know about this. Well, it literally was just something that, that I came up with uh, just a few minutes ago because I was testing out the brand new Futureport 82 uh, virtual Epcot app. Uh, or game or simulation or whatever you want to call it. I guess simulation is more accurate. So before I get too far into it, if you want to check this out, um, it's on uh, the web. It's at uh, futureport82.com. Again, that's futureport82.com. Uh, Sean Patrick Holland is the creator of this. He's absolutely incredible. Uh, he's um, somebody who watches the channel, um, and he, he may be surprised to know that we're doing this because... Uh, um, one of these days I'm going to get him on the show. We've talked about having him on the channel and interviewing him about the project, but he's created this in unity, which is an engine, like a game engine that runs a lot of modern games. Uh, so it really, the graphics are on par with modern uh, games that you might find on a PC or a, you know, some kind of a console. Uh, and now that I have a graphics card that's powerful enough to do it on well, medium settings, by the way, if I take it to high or ultra, it doesn't really work. But anyway, this is super cool. So he's added some new stuff to this. He's added universe of energy where you can walk through it. He's added a uh, world of motion where you can actually ride it. I haven't even ridden world of motion yet. He's added so much stuff in there. I just wanted to kind of experience it with you guys. So I thought let's go live. And, you know, even if a lot of people don't know that I'm live, that's fine. Uh, we'll just enjoy it together and we'll have a great time. So let me say hi to everybody and we will, um, we will, uh, get started. Oh, what, what group sings that resort TV one opening? I didn't actually get it recorded professionally. Uh, one of our resort hoppers did that for us and I'm not really sure how he did it, but it was really pretty fun. So very, very cool that he did that. All right. So let's see what we got here. Um, we've got, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, then other Bubba, Daniel Barry, Shannon, Jess, Manoa, J, Sarah's fantasy sports boss, Austin, Kayla, Kristen, Jack, Vicky, tree guard, Nita, Linda, Diamond Diva, uh, let's see, Lainey, Vicky, Bev, um, let's see, oh yeah, Linda, sorry about your mom, for sure, oh my goodness, uh, we've also got Jess, Jay, Jack, Dazzling Disney, Indiana, Kayla B, Anastasia, Michelle, Tanina, oh shit, Tanina's got all the emojis, I love it, <laughs> yes, use all those Epcot emojis, Dazzling Disney, Robert, Richard, Blair, Phil, Manoa J, uh, B Meager, Sarah loves retro Epcot. Hey, Michael. Hey, Ryan. Vicky. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So, hi, everybody. Sorry. Hey, Ginger. <laughs> hey, Sydney. It's going to be super fun. Yeah, it's really awesome simulator, but it, it really is like the, the next best thing to going back in time. Uh, these are just like, these headphones are just like old, um, what do you call them? Ear pods? They're not ear pods. They're, they're like the old Apple headphones. They're not the original ones. They're the real, I guess they're ear pods, I think is what they call it. It's like whatever. They're, they look like airpods with the actual wire on them so anyway they just work really well and they're actually easy to wear i've got my giant like really professional headphones but they're kind of hot to wear for a long time in a stream so yeah i saw the new update come out but haven't had a chance to see it yet but the previews look good it really is tree guard for sure hey big movie fan hey jack anything retro disney bring back, brings back great memories i agree nita i agree love this yeah the simulator is so good uh, hey, Liana. Hey, Katie. Magical Celebrations. Steven Strasberg. Um, hi, everybody. Mickey Magic. Uh, Din Grogu. Cassie. Disney Junior. Kay. Dale Clay. Jack. Resort Hopper. Kathy. Uh, let's see. Yes, the original entry into Walt's True Vision. Absolutely. Hey, Paint and Pino. Let's see if we can. There we go. See, I don't need to be that big on the screen. <laughs> Leslie. Jeffrey Pops. Uh, Julie Picks. Break It Yourself. Uh, Kelly. Poppins Hark. Uh, Kitty, Ryan, Mr. Cheez-Its. Let's see. So, yeah, so a lot of people here. Sorry if I missed anybody. Uh, let's see. Austin, Scott, Ken. Almost 400 people in on a surprise stream. Yay, notification crew. <laughs> hey, Clearly, <clears throat> Bob Jones, Vicky, Joseph, Jess, Jack. Everybody's here. The gang's all here. All right, I have to check one thing really quick to make sure I've got my settings correct for right now. Let's see. Everything good? Yes, everything is perfect. All right. Great. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Can we see Tank? Oh, actually, yeah. So um, Tank actually uh, took a little bit of a vacation uh, for, the, for the next couple of days. Tank, um, 
actually went to boarding for the weekend. Uh, we were gone all day today uh, visiting some friends. We just got home a little while ago. Um, and we went down to Vero Beach to visit some friends. And so we didn't want him to be home by himself for like 10 or 12 hours. Obviously, he's too young for that. So we went ahead and boarded him. So he's uh, he's staying with some friend friendly dogs tonight at the uh, at the boarding place. So he's very safe, but he's not here right now. Do you have any videos of the animation tour? I don't actually. We might like dad might have some videos that he taped of it, but I don't think we ever taped the whole thing on anything. So, hey, Resort Hopper. Hey, Ken. All right, Austin Richards, 99 cents. Thanks, Austin. Appreciate the super chat. 99 cents super chat from Austin. Appreciate that very much. Are you still on the fence about live streaming at the park tomorrow? Yeah, I probably won't uh, live stream tomorrow since Jen is posting a video. I don't want to mess that up. So I, I probably will go live later Monday, though. Um, so hey, Bob. Hey, Jack. Uh, hey, Joseph. All right, let's get started in this. Let's just get right to it. All right, so. Yeah, you could you we we can uh, I, we can put Tank on the stream at some point again. That'll be fun. But let me get this uh, started up here so you guys can enjoy some retro Epcot. And I am just gonna bring my phone up so that I can actually see the chat. I don't I don't have a multi monitor set up unfortunately, so I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of old school on that a little bit. Well, I know a lot of people have multi monitor setups. I do not, unfortunately. But let me go ahead and pull the chat up here so I can see what you guys are saying. There we go. All right, so there's the chat. Perfect. <laughs> you get to see the top of my head there. All right, so let me pull up this this game here. It's like a game simulation app, something like that. All right, so we're going to pull up the March 2024 version. He's got so many versions of this. He's been working on this for so many years. It's gotten so much better. So let's go ahead and get this started. Here we go. Future Port 82. I'm going to load it up. All right. Let me, um, let me switch over in just a second. Oh, there's Austin's message there, so let me switch over. You should be able to see this here in just a second. All right. Now, let's see. The question is, do you hear it? It looks like it's working now, but do you hear it? I was just thinking how much I missed Josh's stream tonight. Well, there you go. Look at this, by the way, World of Motion. Isn't that incredible? So this works, but can you hear the music? Is that working? No sound. Okay. Uh, how do I do that? Right. Oh, maybe if I click on here. Actually, if I go back over to it, I think. It. There we go. Now you can hear it. I think. Should be back now. Retropods. Yes. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I just had to click on it. All right. This is so cool. Sound on. There we go. We got this thing working. We got this. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I got the retro pods going on. So you can see here's the settings. Let's see if it saved my settings from last time. It didn't. I'd like to have the trees on here. Let me turn the trees on. Uh, I've got graphics medium quality. That should be good. Okay, so. All right, so we're going to enter this. Watch how we come into the park here. This is really incredible. But look at, look at that right there. Just that right there. How he did World of Motion. Even the chickens are moving. Like, I, I don't even know. And the 3D modeling and everything. Wow. So good, Sean. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the sound is so incredible. All right, so let's go into this. Here we go. We want enhanced features. Uh, let's do... Yeah, partly cloudy is fine. Enhanced features. Yeah, here we go. It's going to start us on the Monterey. I'll watch this. You guys just let me know in the chat if there's anything... Um, anything wrong or anything going on. Uh, so there's Noel. Is feeling sick? I'm so sorry. We are now approaching our destination. Welcome to this exclusive guys, preview and I can look of Epcot too. Center. Our experimental prototype community of... Tomorrow. My fans are spinning, man. The, my fans really Epcot spin Center on these simulations. Glad to have you as our guest today. It's a really quiet we computer until you try and do something and you find strenuous on it. Now it's like rendering and... One. Walt Disney was a dreamer and a doer. It's rendering and streaming at the same the world, time, so it's probably not the best frame rate, but it's believes, as good as my little 3060 Ti can do. solutions to problems if equipped with information, technology, and opportunity. Epcot Center has been created to showcase prototype concepts and technologies that may someday serve people everywhere. This is the essence of Epcot Center, a collective endeavor by people for people. Look at that. The hope for a better world. 
Somebody get me a 4090 quick. <laughs> I need a 4090. I'm just kidding. Those are really expensive. I don't even know that we my computer. Technology, transportation, communication, and medicine. There's Horizons. It's not done yet. It's 82. There's World of Ocean. possibilities of tomorrow. And exploring man's relationship to the land, the seas, and into outer space. I believe we're on See how we man. can both harness and nurture our world. So we'll showcase this done, obviously. Epcot Center integrates cutting-edge technology with the knowledge wow. of industry. Experts. Also, there's a people mover from the integrated computer system that runs the park. Oh boy, it's chugging. To the it is chugging. Concepts on Here, hold on, guys. Let me. Exhibits. Technology is key to Let me fix this. Moving our lives both I'm today take the, uh, trees and off. in the future. That should help a little bit. We are now approaching the station. Join our ambassador, Julie. That's better. For an introductory presentation on future <laughs> world pavilions. This is an older computer, but it works, then it works as well as it down can. the ramp through the park's main entrance. When the monorail comes to a complete stop, the doors will open automatically. Please gather your belongings and watch. Only one Kenobi event. says, get us to Horizons. Of all of us, we hope you enjoy your stay at Epcot Center. Have a great day and welcome to the 21st century. So yeah, I did not make this game. Sean Patrick Holland made this game. It's so amazing. Yeah, it's really, really good. And again, if I had a little better, I have a 3060 Ti graphics card, which is pretty good, but um, I have an older motherboard and you know, I have a, what my graphics or my CPU is a Intel Core i9. Uh, 9900k so it's a good cpu but it's not the best why why is it so choppy right now it should not be so choppy it wasn't so choppy earlier so you see we're on monorail red there there it goes i feel like oh it's the trees are still there hold on guys let me fix this yeah we're like it's like chugging hey david i'm doing a little little epcot stream here okay i may have to like come back into this this is like chop city Okay. Let's go to Yes, Show Trees. Yeah, it's like chugging. We'll get there. Can you guys hear me? All right, I'm going to exit out of this and try again. Let's... Oh, it seems to be better now. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can get this to fix here. All right, we're going to go no trees. Let's go low quality for just a second, see if we can get it, like, kind of back to a good frame rate. Ah, there we go. Okay, now we're cooking. Still showing trees, but I guess that's fine. That's better. Yeah, there might be something running in the background. There's the monorail. I think I got it now. Yeah, this is just, it's a very graphically intense, uh, intensive program. So yeah, David, uh, they've been eating since 6 p.m. tasting menu. They're at Victorian Alberts. Yeah, so cool, David. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's amazing. I can even run. Look at me running. I'm running. Cast members are going to yell at me here in a second. Let me turn the music up a little bit. Settings. I want the music up a little bit. I think we can go back to medium quality, hopefully. There we go. That should be good. Oh, yeah, we can do medium. It's probably better frame rate on the other, but this is pretty good. So these future choice kiosks, you can go to different parts of the park. So, like, um, anyway, let me open the gate, first of all. Isn't this cool? Yeah, Kathy, it's so cool. So cool. How can I get this game? Go to futureport82.com. Futureport82.com. You have to have a pretty beefy PC, as you can see, to do it. Let me show you something really quick. This will really make it chunk. I'm going to show you what it looks like on Ultra. Ultra settings. Epic settings. Watch this. I don't know if it'll, this might kill it. I hope it doesn't. Okay, here's Epic. Let's see if it goes. There we go. Can you see a difference? Let me get out of this part, out of this menu here. You see a difference? All the textures are really, really high quality. I can't do this normally, but but everything is good. The lighting, the people mover, every. By the way, this was the people mover concept that was originally going to be at Epcot. Okay, let me go back to the the medium settings. But Epic looks really good. It's just my PC can't do it right now. So I may upgrade eventually. But 
it, this setup that I have works really, really well for the uh, for the graphics that I have. Give me just a second. Let me go back to medium settings. Yep, I killed it again. <laughs> Either way, it looks pretty good. Give me just a second. All right. It sounds like bees or something. You can do it, computer. I trust you. This is awesome. Thanks, James. If they made a mobile version? Yeah, I, I don't think a mobile processor would be able to do this, unfortunately. Let me get back to medium. Oh, I went to epic. Yeah, it's like chugging. Hold on, let me flip back. Uh, here we go. You can do it. This should fix it. Sorry, guys. I killed it. There it went. Okay. That did it. Let me get out of this menu. There we go. Let me switch back over. Yeah, it seems to be kind of cycle limited here. All right, but we'll get this. I may have to switch into uh, low quality and then switch back out of it. I just love that there's a people mover in this. That makes me so happy. It seems... Okay. Sorry. I should have left it alone. It's my fault. <laughs> I was playing with it. All right. Let me get out of here. Look at that, though. Isn't that crazy? Even on low quality, it looks amazing. Absolutely incredible. You can ride the people mover. So this was the concept. They were going to have a people mover at Epcot. Let me see if I can get the speed to be better. Uh, let me kill... Let me, let me uh, close Google Chrome. There we go. I see what's happening. Okay, hold on. I see what's happening. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, I see what's happening. My, um, the Streamlabs has taken over Streamlabs has kind of taken over my, my GPU. Oh, I love this music. You found Future Port 82? That's awesome. I don't know why the People Mover was scrapped. Josh, what is a PC? Hey, Ron. I need an RTX 5090. I know, right, Ron? Problem is, I was looking at my task manager, and OBS, the Streamlabs, is taking up 60% uh, of my GPU right now for some reason. So, let me try something really quick. It is pretty awesome, but let me see. I'm going to exit this and reload it real quick. Give me just a second. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, let me see if I can get back out of this and back in. I'm sorry. Technical difficulties. There we go. Okay, so see, yeah, Streamlabs got stuck. Streamlabs got stuck doing too much, using too much of my GPU there. Stop doing that. <laughs> Why are you doing that, Streamlabs? All right, let me reload this, <clears throat> and that should that should fix me, and I won't go to Epic anymore. It was working fine before I messed with it. All right, it's just me playing around too much. So here we go. Get back into this. I'm going to go to future port. Uh, much better. All right, we're not going to have to do the intro again. Hold on, guys. We're not going to do the intro again. Stay tuned. I just have to skip it. 
Come on. Oh, much better. Yeah, there was some kind of a resource imbalance there. Okay. Now I can click on the map and I can click to travel. There we go. Ah, oh, we're back where we started. Okay, that's better. Much better. Oh yeah, much better. I'll figure out a way to make OBS not take up so much resources, but I love the fact that there's a people mover here, so we have to ride the people mover real quick because it's like one of my things that I do, you know. I need more of that music in my life. I know, right? You're doing great. I'm going to play this tomorrow. How good of a PC? So this is an older one a little bit. Again, it's an Intel... Um, it's an i9-9900K. I believe it boosts to 4.7 gigahertz on the, on the processor, and I've got the... GeForce um, 3060 Ti graphics card. So it's pretty good. I need there to be a people mover at Epcot. Like, I need that to be a thing that happens. Do I go over here to board? I guess I do. Let me get off of this. Sorry, it wasn't letting me board. Can you play it on a cell phone? No, unfortunately, Nita, you have to have a gaming PC to play it. It doesn't even work on Mac. It's pretty specific. Maybe I have to be over here. It seems like it was like not wanting me to board it. Hold on. What if I go like right here? There we go. I'm on it. The doors of your car. Look at this. Yeah, I was pressing the space, but I, it wasn't working. And please, no smoking. Welcome aboard the Smithway people. It was weird. I, I kept pressing space and it wasn't working. There's Monorail Yellow. Ooh, the graphics seem to have figured themselves out. Aboard the transport system of the future. Epcot Center is a place This would have been such a cool ride at Epcot, wouldn't it have been? And the, the monorail goes right now. You can see like where it would have gone. This is this was the original plans for this. I guess they just didn't really see a point to it, but I see a point. Oh, anytime Spaceship Earth goes in there, it definitely chugs a little bit. I don't know why Streamlabs is using so much of my GPU, but that's all right. I need, I need a separate streaming computer, 4470 Supers and 432 inch monitor, buy those lotto tickets. I know, right? <laughs> Look at this, though. Oh, there's the uh, the place where they put the vehicles away. By the way, how is my voice? Is it is it like, can you hear me? Or is it too quiet? Am I V-synced? Uh, that I don't know. I don't mess with this stuff enough to know. It's a good question. If I asked my son to play it on his gaming PC, what would I ask him? Uh, you just go to futureport82.com and you can download it. And if he has a gaming PC, it should work fine. Probably better than what I'm doing. Explore many top vacation destinations around the world voice is good okay i don't know why he called it smithway there was a reason i don't know why so here's the old communicore i wonder if i turn it down to lower graphical quality maybe it'll be better since we're since we're streaming this is better graphics are still pretty high quality that's better with different types of energy then relax with the solar yeah, I think it's just the streaming app that's slowing us down. Stargate that's Russia. better, though. Look at the Stargate over there. Isn't that cool? Epcot Center will continue to expand and grow. The monorail is supposed to branch off near Horizons October and go towards what is now Disney Springs. It's Maybe. Horizon, following the lives of a family of the future, an exotic desert. I love it that they've made like a narration. And outer space And there's a. We are now above Centorium, Centorium. the largest shop in Future World. Inside, find you. Look at the reflections. I mean, there's a reflection right there. Look at that. So much detail. 
natural food cookbooks, electronic games, and more. It's a lot of things for the computer to process the for sure. Forum beams live news over satellite yeah, I probably need to be sync. Then enter the future There's probably like a, a gaming overlay or something I can do. So oh, it won't let you board Horizons harvest. yet. A Disney pass holder have an amazing birthday. You, yeah, exactly. East, Sorry, I wasn't reading the chat very much. In the world of motion, a whimsical trip through the history of transportation. You can even pick what time of day. You can make it rain. All kinds of stuff. In Trans Center. Look at this. Oh, the fountain wasn't even done yet at this point. You can also change time periods. Yeah, I remember the two-level shop for sure. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day and Max, your birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday early. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Sorry about the choppy frame rates earlier. I think I've got that fixed now. sparks of imagination in a fanciful new ride. There's imagination. <clears throat> oh, Disney was going to call it the Smith Way. Okay, interesting. I was figured there was a reason. Future world up close? Visit the Future Court model shop with small scale versions Listen of the Horizon art, music now. Vehicles, artwork, and more. And coming soon. I should tell you too, this is like a 7 or 8 gigabyte download if you want to download it. It's a big download, but just go to futureport82.com. If you got a gaming PC, you got this. You can do it. Hey, a little bit. Yep, so this is called Futureport82. It's an Epcot simulation from back in the day. We're almost to the end. And you can look around wherever you want. You literally can look straight up. You can look down. You can look anywhere you want just using your mouse. Just got on World of Motion. Yeah, I'm about to do that too. I'm saving World of Motion for a little bit because it's so cool. Then visit Kitchen Cabaret, a musical show about We're riding people mover at Epcot. That's what's just blowing my mind right now. So, so good. About protecting our natural environment. Enter the age of information in Bell Systems Future Con. Now you can see there's some tearing when I turn the screen, so I'm wondering if that shows that there's VSync. I just I don't know enough about messing with gaming PCs. The Einzel Theater is a colorful view of how data will level... Like, I've not messed with optimizing games very much yet. ...video conferencing, to telephone shopping, and more. That's so cool. Futurecom. I love the old Future... Uh, the old Communicore there is so good. I miss the Fountain of Nations, yes. ...passing by Earth Station. We invite you to learn more about what you need within... There is a monsoon setting. Within. Will they make a Magic it's Kingdom? I think he's just doing Epcot for now. This seems to be working much better now, even though the quality is not great. We hope you've learned about the many it's not bad. Both Evening, Josh. This is incredible. It really is pretty cool. Thanks for sharing it, DTM. Absolutely. Hope they put a fountain or water feature back behind the Walt statue. I agree, Nita. I agree. Can you play this with other people? I don't think so, Kelly. I think it's pretty much like your computer. My computer is maxed out just doing this by itself. Well, actually, it's streaming, too. It's a poor computer. But, yeah, you know, you, you just... All you can Please only do, seated. do it by yourself. And we're off. The music's fun. The good thing is I can hit shift to run if I want to just go somewhere quickly. Sorry if it's making anybody sick. That's not my intention, of course. How do I get out of here? Hopefully I can get... Oh, oh good. Okay. I thought the gates were going to stop me. All right, so. Let me see if I can go back to, like, medium quality graphics now that we're out of there. It might have... Some of the graphics might have finished caching, I guess. So that's the thing. Because the medium is way better quality. Oh yeah, that's working. Okay, so medium's working now. You might remember this. Future port station. Some of the lighting effects are a little bit weird. I do remember these chairs, because they had these little, like, uh, it was almost like a, what we called, like, popoids, basically. <laughs> they had, like, they were little, uh, like, retractable straw material on the chairs. Anyway. But this is what the back of Spaceship Earth used to look like with the World Key Information Satellites. And I believe... Can we use these? I think we can. Yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness, you can actually use it. What? This is so crazy. Yes, I pressed space to sit. Yep. The website is called uh, futureport82.com. Hi, I'm Bip. Wow. The real brains behind Epcot Center information. 
Now, if you'd like to know how I can be of service, just touch here. But if you've been here before, this was let's just skip the introductions, the and day. you can get started by touching here. Okay. Here or here? Uh, let's try here. Let's just pretend we've been here before. I'll be down here if you need any extra help. Or if you want to end the show. Oh, uh, I also have information about other Walt Disney World locations. So, this when you're ready, so just cool. touch me here. I'm not ticklish, <laughs> honest. Okay, it's your move. What, do I, what happens if I push video? Future World presents the challenges, choices, and dreams as being predicted for tomorrow. This is so cool. I had not messed with this part before. Future World. What? Okay. What's ABC? I can give you information from aspirin to zinnias, just like a video the directory. Graphics for them were on laser discs. Wow. So first, choose the alphabetic letter. Then, use the arrows to look through the listings till you find a specific word you want. Touch it, and I'll print out the information. Say, you can always come back to the alphabet page when you touch here. And I'll be standing by to give you any extra help or end the show if you touch me right here. Okay, choose your letter. Okay, let's choose H for prizes. What is his lordship? Wow, this is so cool. It's a touchscreen computer. That is so cool. Touch here to end the show. Or to start the show again, touch here. All right, we'll go ahead and exit. Wow, that is so cool. Oh my goodness. He, Sean literally went above and beyond. That is just absolutely epic. My gosh. Oh, by the way, you want to see the different weather? Check this out. Uh, let's do time and weather. Okay, so right now it's 8 o'clock. Let's do uh, noon. Or maybe 145. One, like 1. There we go. So, the, so first of all, that's later in the day. The shadows and the light are different. So there you go. You can see that. See the clouds moving. Uh, I want it to rain. What about this? Let's make it rain. Uh, how about a thunderstorm? And now the ground is wet. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, the graphics are pretty interesting there in that part. All right, so. Amusement parks do look better in the rain. Now, if I change it back to good weather, now let's go to clear skies. But watch. It'll still, the ground will still be wet for a little while until it starts to dry up. Look, it's even already drying up. Isn't that crazy? Even the reflections and stuff. And I think I can change the fountain to being on. Let me go Let me go see if I can go... If there's, there's a kiosk over here, I can change the fountain to being on. Let me t change my time to like... Uh, what's a good time? Like maybe uh, uh, 11 a.m. We'll have some good lighting there, maybe. Okay, there we go. All right, so... Let me see if I can go around here. Sorry, I'm running. I remember this marquee from when I was little. I remember that marquee so well. So I think this should be the... Key. Every... Every place around here, they have these future choice kiosks, and I think this will change it to what I what I want to do here. So, uh, let's see. So I can go over here, uh, press a number to choose your future. Communicore Plaza, uh, I want 1982. Oh, that's the old plaza. Three. Oh, that's what it was going to look like. You can walk around it and just change it. Wow. I really would kind of like to see the, the water on, though. Oh, well. How do I turn the water on? Picture spot. Oh, well. Isn't that cool, though? You can change the date and everything. It's just so incredible. Oh, God. We're going to Epic Universe for sure. No need for Vessies tonight. Nope. All right, let's go over here and check some of these things out. That's why I keep running. I'm just so excited to see this. 
we're gonna run. I'm breaking all the rules. Now, if you wanna see Horizons, watch. All I have to do is go up here to the future choice and I can change it to Horizons. Uh, let's see, Horizons Construction. Let's go to Horizons. The Horizons is finished. Isn't that cool? I don't think they let us go in Horizons. Let's see. Let's see if they let us go in. We're in Horizons. I forgot that this was open. Wow. Look at the wall. Look how good that graphic is. The texture of the wall is even correct. Come on. Look at that. It's like a stucco feel to it. Just download it and scan for viruses. That's good, Eric. I was on the Epcot uh, opening team beginning in 81. If we can dream it, we can do it. Yeah. I mean, look at this. It's so real. Even reflections and stuff, it's just so good. So I do want to do... I do want to do Universe of Energy and then World of Motion here in a minute. This, I believe, was there last time. I don't think we can ride this yet, though. Now, another guy did uh, a simulation of Horizons, but it didn't... Um, uh, he never finished it. But Sean, he is just, like, the master of this stuff. Can we get on the ride? Nope, I think that's all the further we can go. What is this? Oh, that's the exit. So that's the entry and exit area. What happens if I just keep walking? Can I walk through the ride? Uh, okay, no. If I'm, if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up... Yeah, that's not good. I was going to say, if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up, like, in a... In a... Uh, okay, there's that. I'm going to end up falling out of the world. Maybe. Maybe I can walk out. Oh, look at that mural. That's cool. Sorry if I'm making anybody sick. I apologize. All right, let's go over to Universe of Energy. Ellen's not there. Look how clean and fresh the park was back in that time period. I wish he had another version of this, but with Test Track. Yeah, I mean, you know, there. I think those are things he can do. But Test Track is what we have now, so he's trying to do the retro version. I have an i7-10-750 an RTX 2080, and it runs fine here. I did high, not epic, so even older GPUs will run it. Yes, and I'm actually losing a lot of my power by streaming. I'm losing about 50% of my GPU from streaming. I don't know. Do you guys that are more experts in this, do you know, can I set my can I set my computer to do, like, software rendering or software um, encoding? Would that be better? So we're going to do a special preview of Universe of Energy. The detail in this game is truly amazing. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't do it either. I like having a lot of detail in my work, but I couldn't do it. So we're going to load Universe of Energy. So let's go over here and, and see what we need to see. So there's this awesome pre-show. Pre do you guys remember the, um, the little movie panels would change? Yeah. Look at this. So this is just now brand new and open in this version of the ride. Brand new. What's crazy is this. Watch this. We can walk through and see the dinosaurs. My mind is absolutely blown. I probably can do high quality in here, actually, because it's not as much to render. I should be able to do high quality in here. There we go. Yes, look at that. Yeah, so it works fine in high quality in here. Look at that. Come on. How cool is this? And look at the, the leaves moving and everything. Even the dinosaurs are moving. Yeah, the pre-show was so good. Look at the beautiful um, backgrounds in this. It's so real. Yeah, it was 40-ish minutes. Yeah, this is the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind now. Everything just looks so good. I don't even know how he did that. Look at the modeling on this. And look at this. That is gorgeous. Wow. Look how real they move. That's crazy. Isn't it great? Does it have the jungle smell? Yeah, I wish. Is he a professional game developer? I don't think so. Took our best naps on this ride. Yeah. I don't think I ever took a nap on it just because I loved rides and everything so much. That's just, those two dinosaurs are so, so real. 
I'm running on a 3070 Ti at Epic, and it's smooth. I agree, your stream setup is stealing frames. Yes, it is, Eric, for sure. Can I? Do you think I can render it in software rendering um, and, t and, and put 100% of the GPU towards this? Yeah, I don't know. I should have gotten a 3070, but it was just more expensive at the time. I got this one. I paid 650 for this graphics card that I have back when GPUs were more expensive. Oh, yeah, I could, Disney Junior. I could. I really don't remember the original pre-show because I was a young kid. I worked at Ellen's Energy. I wish I could have seen Epcot back then. Yeah, look at this. I can't believe we can just walk through this. I'm just wondering if I did software um, encoding, if it would get, like, really slow and it wouldn't do a very good job. Wow. I don't think it's completely done, but it's pretty good. That's just really cool. Where Where, where do I go now? Oh, I got lost. I thought I walked back through here one time. Let me see. Maybe. I was pretty sure I walked through here at one point. Uh, oh, here we go. Ah. Nope, I came out the same way. Hold on. Let me go back to medium graphics and I might be, I might be getting, yeah, I think the lighting is wrong. Oh, here we go. Look at the lighting is so different there in this view. There we go. In the fog. Now I'm in the post show. There was a post show here. And we end up here. And we're back at it. That's pretty cool. Instead of second CPU, you just get an Elgato stream deck or something. Yeah, probably a good idea. <laughs> Hello, all. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> when Ellen said stupid Judy, yep. Explore the Great Roads of America. Oh, yeah, because of Exxon Mobil. I remember that picture. Wow. This is just so cool. So can I go out this way? Yes, I can. All right, let's go do World of Motion, guys. I've never seen this before. This is brand new for, <clears throat> for today. Let's see, let's put some clouds in the sky. We're going to go like... 1.30 in the afternoon, and let's go uh, partly cloudy. There we go. <clears throat> that looks nice. Let's see, what does this do? Pre-WLL, construction, WLL. There's World of Wonders of Life being constructed. Here's Wonders of Life. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go over here. The horizon, by the way, this planter is still there. Let's see what this says. Special thanks to Jason Dupree. That's cool. I love how he's able to put credits like inside the game. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what this does. Uh, it says World of Motion Transorama. What's that? <clears throat> Whoa. That's different. That's a 1979 concept. What happens if we walk through here? Wow, that's interesting. Can you go in? Nope, you can't. Okay. I was like, what is this? I guess there wasn't much of a concept to it, probably. Transorama. It must have been a concept for something very early in development. Wow. Well, that's very interesting. All right, let's go back, and let's go back to uh, World of Motion. Let's see. Here we go. And... World of Motion. It's so cool. You can change stuff. So we're going to ride this thing. The crowds are insane. I know, right, Allison? Hey, Mike. How close to 189K? I think uh, we're at 7. I think we're like 600 away or so. They really need to partner with Frontier on a Planet Coaster 2 DLC. Yeah, there you go. All right. Hey, Anastasia. Hey, Mike. Hello, Thomas. All right, let's see if we can go in here. So he just opened this part of the ride. <clears throat> My favorite part was going up this loop. You could really get such a great view of the park by going through here. It was really, really cool. Apparently, I had to walk through the queue. Thanks to Mike Ryan. Everything, even the tiles, the texture is so, so good. 
I hear the music too. Alright, let's go in. Wow, look at that! <laughs> That's the loading area. Oh my goodness, it's so accurate. Wow. Can you turn off motion blur? No, I can't. I'm sorry. No, there's no setting for that. I think that's just what it does. I think that's just the computer struggling to keep up. Sorry, guys. Com concept was reminiscent of Mission Space. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? It's like I'm there. My goodness. It really makes me want to get a more powerful GPU. <laughs> Graphics processor, sorry. You guys ready to ride this thing? Remember when Google Earth had a 3D walkthrough of Magic Kingdom? Oh yeah, that's cool. We are that much closer to the holodecks from Star Trek. Yes, exactly. So there's no horizons for sure uh, in this in this one. We'd have to ride it like a video of it. All right, let's see if we can get on. Press space to board. Here we go, guys. Let's enjoy the ride. Oh, I guess I'm going to get on that, this car. Okay. Let me turn on, let me turn up the sound effects here a little bit. While traveling. Thank you. Your vehicle doors close automatically. Please keep your hands and arms inside your vehicle and remain seated. Even the narration. That's right. The front car for the win. Now there were gold coins there, I think. Welcome to the wonderful world of the world. The general motor is now in front of all pictures who travel the open road. To discover that when it comes to transportation, it's always fun to be free. Look at this. My computer's doing pretty well with this part. That was always my favorite part. We always took pictures here. I mean, what a cool thing. They don't have anything like that now. I guess People Mover kind of is like this, but it's so gorgeous. And then you just go into the ride. I'm just like in my childhood right now. Yeah, music and everything. Let's see how the lighting is here. So he, he's worked really hard on this ride for a long time. Okay, it's loading the ride. Wow, look at the texturing here. Oh, the, the footprints are even there. Sean, you just completely throughout the ages did we have searched for wow. freedom to move from one place to another. In the beginning, of course, there was foot power. But with our first wandering steps, we quickly discover the need to improve our basic transportation. Wow. I'm so just in awe. Isn't it cool, big guy? Isn't this cool, big guy one? Yeah. Launch it was one of the longest rides and had the most power trunks. safe highway, water. Token fanboy. Yeah, add some people to the to the crew. Or add some people to the queue so it's more realistic. Remember the guy trying to get the zebra to go here? On land, our animal friends give us new freedom. And we test drive many new models. Wow. So this is Unity. Yeah, a good question, Jonathan. This is Unity. <coughs> this went away in 1996, I think. Oh, that's a weird sound. Oh my gosh, remember the wheel? A revolutionary turn of events. The wheel. And now things It's fun to be free. The narrator is Gary Owens, that's correct. Oh my gosh, he even put this in there. A little laughter. This is so cool. I mean, it's really like riding the ride. I, I do feel like a kid again, Dave. Yes. Had 188 audio electronics. Wow. Look at this, they even have the video. That video was actually in the ride. With our newfound freedom, empires expand. This is Cultures really flourish. good. 
trade and commerce grow. Oh my gosh. I am in awe right now. I wish I had my face on the screen right now. Normally I don't care, but I just I want to show my um, reaction to this. I'm just so amazed. Look at all these chariots you can buy. They're marked down. <coughs> With proud new ships, we sail forth the sea search of new worlds, undaunted by age-old myths and silly superstitions. Good grief. And this whole narration was very tongue-in-cheek. My mind is officially blown. I know, Sarah, isn't it crazy? Great minds are turning the ride lasted 15 minutes with a good amount of time to get off your feet after walking around. Yep. Sorry, I'm talking over the narration. I should just be quiet. Wow, it even moves. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. It's so good. It's just so good. Some of the character models are kind of flat, but it's hard to 3D model everybody. From Already, the amount of time is just so steel. unbelievable. Now nothing stands in the I've way been watching quietly, enjoying, but I want to say thanks for doing these huge report ADQ streams. I really enjoy these as they bring back so many good memories. I'm blown away, yeah, for sure, big guy. Isn't this crazy? So apparently, they're you know not going anywhere. Everything's moving. It's just so so good. What's next? I thought there was something here. Great boilers of steam changed. I remember the riverboat. That was so cool. Oh, thanks, James. Yeah, it's su it's such an insane trip. Look, even the people on the boat are dancing. <clears throat> and every time, fun to be free. It's the whole. The whole time, fun to be free is playing in the background. What is, I don't remember this part. Maybe the video is just a little bit different here. I don't remember this. Totally blown away. Yep, that's right. The lyrics and melody were written by Ex Atencio. Xavier Atencio. Is the Lego Dragon a tribute? It could be, I guess. Well, Another like kind of point arrives. A steam-powered iron horse bringing fast, dependable, safe travel to the new frontier. Wow, even the steam effects are really, really good. Look at the hole up here. Wow. I don't know about this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Ah, the peaceful countryside. What more romantic way to enjoy it than with that infallible combination of man and machine, the bicycle. Blown away. Oh, here it comes, guys. The best scene in the whole thing. Oh, my goodness. Here it comes. <laughs> the call of the open road brings us a new wonder. Look at the texture in here. Without a horse. Yes, with the horseless carriage. Oh, that's awesome, Diane. 30 different shows. Such a shame that this isn't still there. It would have been so good to still have this here. Look, they even have the video. This is the original video from the ride. Look at this. <clears throat> and this was the most complicated scene. A little bit of a traffic jam here. Wow. Even the ice 
truck is moving. I would always turn around and look backwards when I was riding it too. I guess I better look forward so I don't miss any of this amazing work that he's done. Oh, there we are. Look at this. Our newest tradition, the Sunday music changes drive. too. Now we quickly get away Jay, from it's it all so cool, to the beautiful, it? carefree countryside. And then we just did the western scene. That was the train robbery air show. Wow. Oh, and there's the police officer. You guys remember the police officer sitting back there like he's going to catch all the speeders? Sorry. I'm turning around so fast as I want to see. Oh, wow. That's like actually accurate, too. This was replaced um, with uh, Test Track. There are two versions of Test Track. Oh, even the rest of the air show scene, too. The, the guy just the the wild blue yonder. Now the sky's the limit. Is the wow, look at the cars. A way to move from here to oh there my goodness. for every need. And every need. Now it's really fun to be free. They're the one that said use no hooks and stuff. Wow. Oh, here come the speed ropes here. Oh wow, how did you do that? Ooh, that'll make you dizzy over there. Oh wow. I mean, that's cool, but a little bit dizzy. I don't know about Bird and Robot, we'll see. It's like you're actually in the video. We're going through here. Sorry if you get dizzy, you can look away. Really, so much detail, Kimberly. It's incredible. I love this old music. I mean, I was a kid. I, I would look up here too because I didn't want to end the movie, but I had you know you got to go through. My goodness, I mean, it's just. So, so good. The only better way to experience this would literally be to have a time machine. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, weird. I re oh, I remember this. How did he get all these movies? And stretch them out like this? What in the world? You guys remember this? Sorry if you're getting dizzy. It would be easy to get dizzy, but wow. It's basically like a game. There's not really points or, you know, any way to, you know, you have to defeat things or you don't die or anything. But yeah, basically a game. Wow, it does look like Tron here. I remember it did, because remember it came out just a few years after Tron. Or around that time. <clears throat> now, the ending of this is so good. Speed Room 3 was footage from Tron. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, thanks to Futureport82 for allowing me to do this. Check him out. Yep, there's his YouTube channel yes, at futureport82.com. Let's listen to this. Of motion. We have engineered marvels that take us swiftly over land and the air and into space itself. And still bolder and better ideas are yet to come. Ideas that will fulfill our age-old dream to be free. Free in mind, free in spirit, free to follow the distant star of our ancestors to a brighter tomorrow. Wow. I remember this part. This is called Center Core. It's actually the center of the ride. The ride's made like a wheel. Listen to that music. Angelic fun to be free.
This was hard to recreate. It was even harder to film because it was so dark. This music's beautiful. I believe you can ride Journey into Imagination, I think. You can go into the building, I know that. It is a very complex scene, yes, for sure. You're almost out of it. So you go all the way around it, basically. So you get to go down a little bit lower and kind of see more of it here. So you start out above it and you end up coming down. So actually, that's how you come down out of the ride. The soundtrack's readily available online, but he's really got it split up into different rooms. That's just so good. Okay, so I think we go, yep, so there's the end of it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, General Motors now invites you to share the challenge of the future. We need you to help us shape tomorrow's mobility. Just ahead is General Motors' exciting Trans Center. Join us behind the scenes where we are working to ensure that tomorrow's world will continue to be a world of motion. Yes, he does fade the sound in and out. My gosh, this is just masterful work. turned into a ghost car. I'm looking the wrong way. Whoopsie, sorry. I missed that part. My fault. Anyway, they had that Pepper's ghost effect with the cars, and now we are at the exit. This Trans Center place was so, so cool. It was a very magical, mystical place. I'll show you when I go in here. Your vehicle doors will slide open automatically. It looked real. Yeah, yeah somebody said Step Bad out, master, yeah, you had to do a double Your take because it looks so real. And the moving platform are traveling at equal speed. Your vehicle doors will slide open automatically. Please collect your belongings. Wow, it's so classy. I remember coming out of here. Oh, he's really done this. Wow. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. This place was very magical. Like it just was like, as a kid walking through here, it just made you think you were in the future. There was nothing like this anywhere in the world. It was so good. I don't know what's over here, but it was so, so good. That's kind of cool. So, okay. I think that's as far as you can go that way. The GM corporate exhibit. Yep, there's Bird and the Robot. I don't know if you can watch this or not. Let's see. Uh, looks like Bird and the Robot doesn't operate. Sometimes if you push space bar, it does something. Nope. That's cool, though. Okay, let's see. Concept 2000. What's over here in the water engine show? See how it happens. What happens if I sit down? Can I sit? I cannot. That's all right. All right. Well, still, I mean, the way he's recreated this is just phenomenal. Dreamers Workshop. <clears throat> I remember there's a bathroom over there somewhere too that we will always use after the ride. I know that's weird, but so this part's not quite done. But this is just really, really, really cool. Wow. That's just amazing. So well done. Let's see. And this is how we get out. And everything renders back in. Oh, I can't go that way. Looks like I can't go into... What? There's no way out here? How do I get out of here? That's weird. So there's no way to get out. That must be a bug. All right, well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do then. We'll just hit map and we'll just jump out. Let's just jump back to here. There we go. 
I wonder... Oh, weird. I can walk out of here this way. Oh, there's a collision there. Yeah, he's just got... There's just a bug. You can't walk any further in there. You have to ride the ride. Okay, so there's like a there's like a block through there. Hey, this is so complicated. We'll forgive a couple mistakes. My goodness. Let's go through a communicore. But first of all, here's Centorium. Does anybody remember this? Two-story shop. So good. Not a lot of merch, but some things. So cool. Let's see. Let's go. Oh, look, there's even like erector set and a telescope. That is just really cool. All right, let's go up and out of here. Uh, okay. Sorry. I'm going fast. I'm excited. One of the coolest things to me is the Stargate restaurant over here, by the way. Let's see if it'll let me go in. This is where Electric Umbrella used to be. It started out as a Stargate. Look at the prices. 95 cents for french fries. Anybody hungry? Man, I miss this building. I mean, we still have it, but it's uh, creations now. 